Workers are preparing to defend what they say is one of the untouchable pillars of workers' compensation. It's the protection of employees injured travelling to and from work, and that could be under threat from the O'Farrell government. It was a freak accident two years ago while driving to work that left Heidi Edwards a quadriplegic. I saw a tree in the corner of my eye, and the next thing I know, it had fallen onto my car, squashed the front chassis of the car, and I was pinned down to the ground. The tree crashed down behind Heidi's head, stretching and partly severing her spinal cord. Her two young children were unharmed in the back. Work cover benefits have enabled the family to keep their home and meet the costs of Heidi's care. But in future, so-called journey claims are at risk under a government review of workers' compensation. I think it would be terrible. I mean, driving to work, I mean, everyone drives to work um, and have that taken away from them and having no financial security, it would just be devastating. The scheme is so in need of reform that yes, everything is on the table. This shows what an important entitlement that combo coverage to and from work is, because without it, many workers will lose their homes. Unions are preparing to fight any attempt to axe compensation for journey claims. And it couldn't get a more vulnerable group of workers than those who have been injured at work. And they should receive full protection, including journey claims. That is, they should be covered to and from work. But critics say the real problem is the inefficiency of the government's work cover organisation, which has presided over a massive blowout in management fees to private insurers. John Hill, 10 News.